Hi, it's Luan from Google Tech. Um, last time we talked about how we can remotely control your 3D printer through Wi-Fi. And last time I used my external webcam. But today we're going to talk about how we can connect a webcam directly into the printer. So um, to do that, first you need to connect your webcam to the printer by the USB port. After that, you can check for the IP address of your printer right now. You can find it here. The next step depends on which operating system you have. Here I'm gonna demo two most popular ones, the Windows OS and the Ubuntu OS. From Windows, you can go to Command Front and from Ubuntu, you can go to Terminal and the command will be the same for both of them. First, you have to SSH mean connected to the controller of the uh, printer. You're gonna SSH to the um, with the username MKS and with the IP of the printer you know how to look for the IP is here um, so the command should be MKS uh, assign the IP and then they're gonna ask for the password all password gonna be maker base uh, because that's the default password username MKS password maker base after input the password, you should be able to connect to the controller of the printer. Then the command should be sudo systemcontrol enable webcam D. So you enable the, fun the webcam function of the controller for both of them. Of course, you need to add the passwords. You already know the password. This is the um, maker base that we talked about. Then the other command we have to run is to start a webcam. So it should be the same sudo system control star webcam D. Now let's go back to the interface. You can go to setting, camera, and then it's already enabled, we just need to add our camera. And in my case, it's my webcam, the C920. So I just put the name. Now let's go back to the interface. You see that my webcam is a bad angle, so I will need to adjust it. Uh, I need to check and adjust at the same time. So here, okay, let me find a good position. Um, should be around. Okay, yeah, I got it here. Done. So did that the view it look good now? Um, I will need to add the filament, so I need to increase the temperatures. And when you get to the peak, I will need to load my filament in it. So it's done. Now we just need to upload the G code. Um, just go to get your G code file, and then it will take some time to load, but should be fast. When it's already there, we can go to print. And now the printer will get a uh, thing ready to print your, your G code. Keep it here so that you can see the process and run. And you see it already have the um, process right here. Loading is 0% right now. But when it start running, it's gonna Give, give you updated about, about the status of the, the print. Okay, it uh, will start soon. We wish to the temperatures. Okay, so that's it. So here the piece I printed. You see there's no difference between printing by USB or using Wi-Fi. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel so you can see in the next one. Happy making!